This is the Dr. Crafty Epoxy Resin. This is the side A, this is side B. Now you mix this by volume, not by weight. One to one, and I'll explain that in just a second. They, they do send these two little cups and these are so great. So when I said by volume, if you're 20 milliliters of A, then you need to do 20 milliliters of B. Lean down and look to the side so you can really make sure that you're getting 20 of each. They do send these little craft sticks and that's great because you can just mix up a small batch here. And they even send this for, you know, to help you kind of level it. And they send a pair of clear gloves. Now this is a silicone mat that I always work on top of. This is one trick that I would definitely do now. I don't even remember where I grabbed this, but it's just a little bucket. I fill this with water and I put it in the microwave for three minutes and then I let it cool off for just a second. Let these sit in here and warm up for about 10 minutes. That way this resin and the hardener are both nice and warm and then I just sort of gently rock them back and forth and set them to dry. I'm pouring half of each, whatever I need, and I will go ahead and mix, 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 mix. Once you're done mixing, get rid of the stick. You don't wanna be scraping while you're pouring because then you can get stuff from the sides that you do not need. And then you end up with sticky resin that never cures and pour it. When you're done, spray it with rubbing alcohol. Don't use like a heat gun or any of that stuff because then you can damage the mold. I'll show you, I did one just to give you an example. So I made these cute little magnets in here. Um, and so what I did was I just, I mixed it with this and these are just, the um, like gold leafing sheets in copper, silver, and gold. I just kind of broke it apart. I mixed this stuff up and I filled these about maybe 20% of the way. And then I hand dropped the little sheets of gold and whatnot in there. Let that harden for a day. Went back and dumped this on the top, which is just like a plaster concrete type stuff. This mold is amazing, FYI. And it comes with two of these, so it's really nice. And it demolded very well. I'm just trying to show you this resin, okay? Do you see, it is perfectly clear. And this was the very first time that I used it. So the only things that I did was I warmed this up, okay? I mixed this by volume in equal parts and I did not use the stick to scoop it out, all right? And then I sprayed it with rubbing alcohol when I was done. That was it, and it came out perfect. There are no air bubbles, it's not yellow. If, you, if it looks a little bit off color, it's because of this sort of creamy colored background, but look. I mean, there are no air bubbles. This stuff is amazing. I am so impressed and happy that I did not pay for a much more expensive version. It has dust on it because I was filing off the back. But look at this. It's it's really, really nice. Tip for you, once you're done mixing um, and you've poured it and everything, take your stick and stick it back in there and let it dry because then once it dries, you can literally just turn the stick and pull out any dried resin and then you can just use this cup over and over and over again. It has this great little pour spout. This stuff is great. I will absolutely be repurchasing this. So I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.